Good morning, boys and girls. How are you? Did you have a wonderful weekend? Good. Now, this morning, already Monday, right? A new week. And boys and girls, this story um, from the Bible is about Abraham. Remember Abraham and the story I told you in class about how he was a very old, old um, gentleman, a, a man, and he was promised um, to have a son, even if he was an older person, and he was married to Sarah, remember? So this paper in particular is about how Jesus came about to changing his name from Abram to Abraham. So it says that God changes Abraham's name, and Abraham means, right, it actually, Abram means the father of many to Abram, which means father of multitude. So here was a 99-year-old man, right, boys and girls? And he was named father of many. So who had only one son, remember? When God told him that he was going to have a son, he didn't believe that he was, but he did, right? He did end up being a father. But when when Jesus came back and told him that we, he was going to change his name from Abram to Abraham, he they say he must have like laughed and said, why is my name going to be changed to Abraham? It means father of multitude. Multitude means many. Well, he thought that doesn't, he may have thought my, that's not a name that fits me because I only have one son. But you know what the Bible says? That Abraham didn't feel embarrassed, that he didn't feel like what? What is he doing? Jesus is not supposed to name me that because I only have one son. You know what? Abraham carried his name proudly because he believed in Jesus so much with all his heart that he knew that God had a plan for him. So boys and girls, after many years, not only did that name um, be, that meant father of a multitude, not only was that name the right name that he needed to be named because he was Abraham was not only the father of multitude, but he was also God was promising that through Abraham's offspring was um, salvation that would come to many people. Later, boys and girls, right? He knew, Jesus knew the reason why he was changing Abram's name to Abraham. And that is the truth. And now names are very important to God, right, boys and girls? And he chooses them on purpose. God instructed his son to be named Jesus. And Jesus means Jehovah is salvation. And Jesus is the one who brings the salvation of many of them. God promised when he changed Abram's name to Abraham. Jesus humbled himself on the cross. And God gave to him a name above all names. So see, boys and girls, when this story is about how Jesus, when he promises something, he will come through. He will do what he says. And sometimes we get very anxious because we're waiting and waiting. But like Abraham, he was patient and he knew that having faith in Jesus and knowing that his name was going to someday, right, mean something more than he knew, he was so faithful to Jesus, right, boys and girls? And this is the paper that you are going to work on, and it's a, a nice paper. You can see that Abraham, as an older gentleman, remember he was an older man, and yet he believed that whatever Jesus was telling him about his name and how he was changing it for a purpose, he just said, okay. So he carried that name proudly. So let's look here. It says God changes Abraham's name. And this on the top says, how many stars can you count and color the picture? So just like he knew, just like Jesus knew, why and the, and the plan behind changing Abraham's name. He knows how many stars there are in the sky and how many hairs you have on your head.
So you count the stars, boys and girls, and you can color also his beautiful clothes. You see Abraham's clothes. You can choose any colors you want. Okay, so let's go ahead and take this sharing off and we can finish in prayer. I hope you like the story. And you know, I'm sure your mom and dad named you for a reason after maybe somebody that, that they know or a name in, in the Bible, right? They, that could be possible. Ask your mom and dad, what is the meaning behind your name? God chose your name too, you know? All right, let's go ahead and bow our head for prayer. Heavenly Father, I know that you chose a name for each of us, Lord, just like you chose your son to be named Jesus. There is a reason for everyone being here and carrying this name that, that through you, the parents named their children. Lord, just have, help us to have a great day and just bless all of the families. In your name we pray, amen. Okay, boys and girls, you have a wonderful day and stay tuned for math and phonics. I love you.